One high, one high, one high holiday, the very first day of the year. The little Matty Groves to the church did go, some holy words to hear. spied some ladies all dressed in black as they came into view but arling's wife was gaily clad the flower of the few well she tripped it she tripped it up to the little matty groves her eyes so low cast down oh pray oh pray come with me stay as you pass through the town i can't not go i must not go i fear it would cost my life for I see by that little ring that you wear, you are Lord Arling's wife. This may be false, this may be true, I can't deny it all. But Arling's gone to consecrate King Henry of Whitehall. Oh, pray, oh, pray, come with me, stay. I'll hide thee out of sight, and I'll serve you there beyond compare. page did listen well to all that they did say and ere the sun did rise again he quickly sped away oh he did run the king's highway he swam across the tide he ne'er did stop until he'd come to the great lord arling's side what news what news me body boy what news bring you to me my castle's burned, my tenants wrong, my lady with baby. Oh, no harm has come, your house and lands, the little page did say. But Maddie Groves is bedded up with your fair lady gay. If this be false, Lord Arling cried, as I take it to be, I'll raise a scaffold tower high, and hanging you shall be. If it's false as it can be, you need raise a scaffold up, but hang me to a tree. Now Lord Arling called his merry men, he bade them with him go, and he bound them ne'er a word to say, and ne'er a horn to blow. But among Lord Arling's merry men were those who wished no ill, <clears throat> the bravest one he blew a blast. So loud, so shrill. <clears throat> what's this? What's this? cried the little Matty Groves. A horn so loud, so clear. It's only Arling's merry men, the ones that I do fear. Lie down, lie down, said Arling's wife, and keep my back from cold. It's only my father's horn a calling his sheep to fold. So the little man he grows, he did lie down, he took a nap asleep, and when he woke, Lord Arling was a-standing at his feet. How now, how now, Lord Arling cried out, do you like my sheets? How do you like my new wedded wife what lies in your arms asleep? <clears throat> very well, very well, do I like your bed. Very well do I like your sheets, but best of all, your fair lady gay, what lies but ain't asleep. Put on, put on, put on man's clothes as fast as e'er you can. In England it shall ne'er be said, I slew the naked man. Oh, I can't not rise, I dare not rise, I fear it would cost my life. For you have got two bitter swords, and I ain't got a knife. I know I have two bitter swords. They cost me deep in my purse. But you shall have the bestest one, and I shall take the worst. Now the first is stroke, little Maddie struck. It hurt Lord Arling sore. But the next is stroke, Lord Arling struck. Little Maddie struck no more. 
rise up, rise up, my gay young wife, draw on your pretty clothes, and tell me, do you like me best, or like you, Maddie Groves? Oh, she lifted Maddie's dying face, she kissed from cheek to chin, <clears throat> it's Maddie Groves I'd rather have than an Arling and all his kin. Well, he took her by the lily white hand, and he led her through the hall. And with his bitter sword he cut off her head and he stole it again the wall. Oh, woe is me, my merry men. Why stayed you not my hand? For here I've killed the fairest foe.